I started this YouTube channel uh, back in, I guess, early 2019. And it was basically focused on my real estate career and, and how I was selling luxury homes. And then on November the 11th, I recognized that my channel was moving more towards my past experience prior to real estate and my career in financial planning and the stock market. And I think that was driven by the fact that I thought ch I saw change happening so dramatically that um, I, I felt that I needed to share my thoughts on it. And where I, I started this series of videos the, that says this video will change how you invest. And I think it's evolving more and more in that direction because there is a convergence of technologies that is about to change our world. That then ties into my philosophy on investing for years has been, I want to invest in companies that are going to change the way I live. And uh, I, can, I can see as I, through my investment career, that is what I did. And what is driving my investments now is technology, because technology is changing the way I live. So this video is about what I feel is going to be the transportation revolution. And that is to say that the way that we move from within our communities and around the world is about to change dramatically. Now, to reflect on that a bit, Henry Ford changed the way that people moved with the invention of the Ford, with it, the internal combustion engine and the invention of automobiles. You may not realize, realize this, but once Henry started mass producing automobiles, there were more automobiles on the road than horse and buggies within four years. Now, Ford and, and the automotive industry has dominated transportation, if you will, particularly in automobiles, for 100 years. That's about to come to an end. You might have seen a, a video I did last week on the, uh, the, the, the stocks you should sell. And two of the stocks I talked about was Ford and, and General Motors. And that caused me to think more and more about what is... And, and that was driven basically because of their mismanagement uh, the, the the fact that they don't control their business, their unions control their business, and that's driven or shown by the fact that even though their plants are closed down, they're obligated to pay their employees full wage even though they're sitting at home. Um, that's just total mismanagement, and, and so they're doomed. Then I got to thinking, okay, if that puts them out, does that basically mean that the Japanese and the Germans are going to own the car industry? And I thought, no, no, this industry is changing because of the convergence of technology. And what I mean by that, I watched a show recently on, on um, I believe it was on uh, Netflix, about the exotic automobiles that are being made, that there are cars that, there's basically four companies that are working on making cars that sell for over a million dollars a piece, and, and it's Porsche, Ferrari, 1-1, one, one, and um, I'm not, a name that I don't really know. And, and what they are saying is they're getting the horsepower and the weight of the cars down to where they're basically the same. The numbers are the same. And through the use of carbon fiber, fiber and aerodynamics, they're making the, the automobile that can exceed 250 miles per hour. And again, what's that got to do with you and me? We don't have a million dollars to put in a car. It's the convergence of technology. And this is what's going to happen in the automobile industry. And, and the leaders in this are going to be Google, Tesla, Tesla, and and uh, Uber. Yes, Homer, I said Tesla. I'm becoming sold. Um, why is that? And what? And, and and I need to share with you some of the things. Larry Page, uh, one of the founders of of uh, Google, has said that uh, by 2023, the automobile industry will be totally revamped, 
they went into this back in um, 2016. I don't know that you know that they went out and bought 20,000 Jaguars and converted them to auto autonomous automobiles. And they have since then been collecting data at the rate of um, 1 million miles per month. That is to say, they're driving these cars around and they're testing how through 5G and, and, and auto, how they react. This is, excuse me, that's 1 million miles per day. So they are gathering the data that is going to drive the autonomous automobile industry. Tesla, of course, is leading the way in the electric automobile industry, and these autonomous automobiles will be electric. And Uber is leading the way in ride sharing. I wasn't big on Uber until I did some in depth because I just I didn't I can't see them making any money, and so I did some in depth and learned more about Jeff Holder. Uh, excuse me, Jeff Holden. And he is the founder of Uber. He came from, he developed Amazon Prime. He developed uh, Groupon, which didn't work out so well. And then he got in some trouble uh, and is no longer in, involved. But in 2018, he basically came out at a conference and said that we will have a flying automobile. And, and that is an automobile that you will get in and it will launch and, and as I read more and more about it, it reminds me, the structure of it, a lot like a drone. And, they, and again, take that carbon fiber technology in the million dollar cars and the aerodynamics and now put this in a, a drone type vehicle that goes 150 miles an hour and I can be in Atlanta in less than an hour. So this is a part, and they are saying by 2027 that will be a mode of transportation that you and I will, will adapt. More closely to that is the experience of the, um, the autonomous automobile provided to you by Uber. So let's talk about what that might look like. Basically, what you will do is pick up your phone, and you will, uh, much as you do uh, for a Uber car or a Lyft car today, you'll type in, and the car within 10 minutes will be at your driveway. Why 10 minutes? Where, where is it quite now? It takes maybe 20 minutes. There's just going to be so many more of them on the road, and they aren't going to be with drivers. They're going to be autonomous. They're going to be a robot is basically going to be driving them. So within 10 minutes, it'll be in my driveway. I'll go out. I'll climb in. There'll be nowhere, no one in there. I'll voice activate and tell them where I want to go. And this vehicle will take me to where I want to go, probably somewhere within a 25-mile range. Um, if, if, in fact, I'm going downtown to my office and there's three other people in my community, we might have a ride-sharing program and this autonomous vehicle will drop us off. Now, I'll go to work, and then when I want to come home, I'll pick up my phone again, I'll ask Uber to send me an autonomous automobile, and I'll come home. Now, how can this happen? And, 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 and the reality is, it will happen when the cost of that Uber ride is less than what I can own a car for. It costs me right now to own my car, not to buy it, but to own it, and that is the gas, the maintenance, the insurance, the storage, whatever, it costs me 59 cents a mile. By 2023, Uber will have that down to 25 cents a mile. So it will not make sense to me to have a car sitting in my garage when I can access one for half the price. So more than likely, one of the two cars in my garage will go away. And, and, and my wife and I will, for local travel, we will rely on Uber uh, or Lyft or whatever. But I'm betting on Uber, and I will be buying Uber stock. 
I'm saying that this experience of me getting to an office within a 25-mile range is going to happen by 2023. Why am I confident in that? that Moore's Law? Moore's Law is, Moore was, um, I think, a part of Intel, and he basically made a statement a number of years ago that the power of the Intel or the computer chip is increasing at a 2x every 18 months. We are now in the era where my phone by 2023 will have more computing power than my mind. That's right. My phone will have more computing power by 2023 than my mind. By 2027, it will be 10 times stronger than my mind. And this is where we will get into artificial intelligence and quantum computing, and our world will once again go through another change. And that change relative to transportation will be the replace, replacement of uh, helicopters with individual cars. What will happen is uh, my experience will be the same, that I will take an Uber car to a, to a launch port, what, where will that launch port be? It'll be on, probably on the parking lots that we replaced downtown. That's another change that this is going to make. 30% of our downtown area and your downtown area is de dedicated to parking lots. There will be no need for them because I'm not driving my car downtown and parking it and working for 8 to 10 hours and then getting back into it. And I'm using this car roughly 5% of my waking hours. That makes no sense. Once again, once Uber brings the price down from 59 cents of car ownership to 25 cents per mile of Uber uh, access, the parking lots are gone. So what does it turn into? It turns into a launch port. So my Uber brings me down there, puts me in a flying car that's going to look a lot like a drone. It puts me up in the air and sends me at 150 to 200 miles an hour to Atlanta. So I'm in Atlanta in less than an hour. I get out of the port in downtown Atlanta or maybe in uh, some other part of Atlanta, and I, again, access Uber, go to my destination, and then I just turn the whole thing around to come back home. That's transportation in somewhere like 2025, okay? Then in 2027, Elon steps in and gives me my Hyperloop. My Hyperloop is a tube in the ground that will take me from Birmingham to New York City in less than an hour in the privacy of a, 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 a soundproof tube, I'm jetting at 750 miles an hour in a Hyperloop. This is in 2027. This, who is going to then, who do I need to be investing in? Well, I need for, because all of this is going to be driven by that computer uh, capability that is 10 times the capability of my mind. It's going to be driven by the people who control the data and control the quantum computing. That will be Google, Microsoft, IBM, Amazon's through Amazon Web Services, and this one you need to write down. Uh, Rigetti. R-I-G-E-T-T-I. Rigetti is a company in California that is basically going to be driving the power of building the software for quantum computing. Right now, it um, has 48 investors. It will be one of the big seven, okay? So this is something you need to watch for. Once it does its IPO, if you can get in on the IPO, you want to own it. If you can't get in the IPO, you want to own it. Okay, this is the direction my YouTube channel is going to go. I'm not going to talk to you about the Federal Reserve and how this affects the stock market, and I'm not going to talk to you about the Treasury, and I'm not going to talk to you anymore about the national debt and consumer debt and all that sort of thing, other than maybe if I see a very slight opportunity, like I see, I did a video on 
um, comparing MasterCard, Visa, and American Express, and I own American Express. I don't know that I'll own it long, but I will, I do currently own it. My channel is going to answer the question, this video will change the way you invest. That is where I want to be. I want that niche. I want you to subscribe to my channel. I want you to like my channel, and I want you to help me build this because I want you to give me input. Just like Homer has been badgering me about Tesla. I was not a fan of Tesla because, again, of their debt situation. But because he, he has sent me links, he has taught me about Tesla, I too will own Tesla someday. And that's what this community is. That's what this tribe is about. You asking me questions and I giving you my opinion. And that's all it is. Paul wrote me yesterday and asked me about Costco. He says, you're talking about trailer parks and that's housing. Well, we also have to have food. Paul, I don't know a lot about Costco, and other than I've been there, I no longer am a member because I don't buy in quantity, um, but I'm not interested in the food chain as an investor. I'm interested in technology, I'm interested in the, the convergence of technology, the convergence of situations that is going to change the way I live. I don't see that my wife is going to move from Publix or Piggly Wiggly or Winn-Dixie or whatever. I don't see that making a major change in my life, so I won't be addressing it and I won't be investing in it. If that's something you want to do, then send it to me. Talk to me about it and say, give me your input so we as a tribe can benefit from the tribe's knowledge. I want a million subscribers. I want a million minds coming together and saying, consider this, consider that. At some point, we will do videos where you and I, via whether it be Microsoft's uh, video or, or the other ones, whatever, where we're talking and we're sharing our minds with the other million subscribers. That's my goal. That's my objective. And the beautiful thing about it is it's all possible because of the convergence of technology.